Okay, I really like this top. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Linda. <laughs> so today's video, I am going to be doing a story time. Please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And um, let's get started with the video. I was doing my form five. I was writing BGCSE. And here in Botswana is the Botswana General Certificate BGC BGCSE Botswana General Certificate of Secondary Education. Yes, that's what it is. And from five students normally write it at the end of the year. It starts from October and ends in November. That's the time span. So what happened was that I was a pure student, so I had to write three practicals. Uh, yeah, right and execute all of them for biology chemistry and for physics so for chemistry you had to do titration and you had to test some certain uh, substances to check if they were the right ones and if they were not for physics you had to also carry out some experiments that you were taught like something about insulation, conduction, a pendulum, electricity, stuff like that. And for biology, your experiment might be based on plants. There's always a drawing. You have to make a drawing. So that was what the biology experiment was on. The very first experiment we started with was with chemistry. That was like the first week of writing. And if I can find the timetable, I'll put it up here so that you can see. So I was quite confident because you can, it's an open book test. So you can go in the exam with a book, but that just slows you down. So don't, don't really, don't do that. For chemistry, it, it was in the morning. Exam started at eight in the morning and they can take an hour, an hour, 30 minutes, two hours, and maximum two hours and 30 minutes. So I always took like an hour for chemistry. So you had to do two experiments. We got into the exam room you had your candidate member set out in front of you on a table and if i can make a drawing this is how the room looked like and that was where i was sitting we got in and the first thing you had to do was titration i'll just put up an image of how it looks like because i kind of be explaining this stuff to you so you need the titration beret 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 whatever and you need a pipette or pipette you need those two to execute your that's that's the main thing that you need to do a titration i think i already did two titrations and i was going on to the third one and i think around 10 minutes have has already passed by so it was, it was i was kind of fast doing this because we already had a lot of practice before it. i was holding the pipette and i was holding the the ball thing <laughs> what was it called again i used a good amount of force to push the thingy into the pipette that the glass broke and cut my finger. I took a picture of when it happened and sent it to my sisters. If I find it, trigger warning, I'll put it up here. But um, I cut myself and I didn't realize it. I was like, oh, the glass broke? Oh. Then I looked at my hand and it was my right hand and I'm right-handed. So I looked at my right hand and blood was everywhere. Literally blood was everywhere. And I started to panic. Everybody heard the glass breaking and it, literally all heads were faced towards me. And I was just looking around. People were looking at me. I was like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? Look down. Oh my God, my hand is bleeding. Like it was a very deep cut. And I just remember thinking, I'm going to fail. I That was the only thought in my head. I was going to fail. And I had TP on me, like toilet paper on me, because it's kind of a necessity here because the schools don't really provide you with toilet paper inside the toilets. So you have to come with your own. And I just started like wrapping and wrapping my finger with toilet paper because the blood was just kept coming out till like, I called the invigilator and like, hey, yo, I cut myself and my pipette broke. Like, I need another one. But I was trying to be very quiet because people were still <laughs> writing next to me. That part is like, they only had like these small band-aids. The first aid was not really that great in my opinion. So please 
school do better so it took like a good five to ten minutes for me to just deal with that because plaid kept coming out it did not want to stop which scared me i really thought i was going to fail but they gave me a new pipette and a new bread because they are the word is standardized when they do this they have to use a pipette and a bread that are paired together so they have to take everything away from me and give me a whole new set i did it and the bread that i had oh my god this stupid thing it but it it did not close well so i overshot and my whole solution turned completely pink which is not what you want you want a slight color change not for it to turn completely pink so i panicked but i had to write down the result and i wrote it down which obviously is going to give my uh, score was a zero or something because it was not accurate. Like the consistency was not there and the accuracy was not there either. I ticked the best two results. So I ended up just doing three titrations, I think, because I could not do any more. My hand was painful, it was bleeding. There was a huge like, bandage here. So my writing was also really bad. So I had to just go and do the calculations of moles and then go to the next experiment because there was another experiment. The invigilator gave me five minutes to finish everything. Like he gave me five extra minutes because of the incident. And I was like, really five? Isn't that a little small? But it did not matter because I finished before time was over. So it's okay. I had to go back to a room where we had to wait because there weren't enough laboratories for all the students to do it at the same time so we had to kind of like alternate we, we weren't allowed to see each other because you know people can snitch i ended up going home i had to remove the all the things because it 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 was you could tell it was not okay and i went to the sink and i wrapped all the bandages and toilet paper i think that i even put a rubber band on it i don't know <laughs> it was very it was just Mm -mm. so i removed everything and blood was still coming out it was a very deep cut so i had to make a phone call to my sisters a group chat and they just told me to go to the clinic and i went to the clinic i went to the clinic and my family doctor told me that he i have to get stitches but there was no anesthesia i i was crying it was painful imagine a needle just coming out of your skin in out in out with a thread and there weren't that many stitches there were supposed to be two but the stitches freaking came out they came out oh my god they came out had to they had to like bandage it really well so that you know no blood will come out and after a week i had to go back to the doctor and he removed it there and it was pretty much okay it was like properly healed that's how i have the stupid scar on my finger you see this that that's the scar that they have i ended up getting a b from that paper so that is the story time thank you for watching the video go follow me on my socials instagram and tiktok tell me you came from youtube and that you're there uh i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>